folks, Tommy Gleesey Choice Painter, just to throw this in. First thing I'm going to do before I lay a tarp and everything is I got two supplies of power. I got one with a switch, that will be for my lamp. And I got a straight one here, this red one here, that will be for my vacuum cleaner. Well, but I will have other places I can hook things up if I need to, like a skill saw or whatever I need. Because it's going to be a big job. And I ran it straight from the outlet from my music room which goes you know around here there's one of my tarps i'm gonna lay down that's the tarp i'm gonna put under there so i ain't gonna worry about cleaning nothing right now we got a more situ more critical situation to deal with and i just got it plugged into my music room so i just thought i'd throw that in and here we go stay tuned for another video on this project tommy use your choice out hey folks this is tommy your easy choice okay here's a here's two clues to common sense tips and tricks first of all in order to do a job well you have to have good lighting now listen you hear that you might even see it the pipes are dripping so here's my second clue if you're gonna have light make sure all wires that power that light are off the ground it's okay if a water drop gets on you or something but you do not want to have these lights based on the ground or anything. See how I got it tied up? I got the wire off the ground. Even outside, it's off the ground. And then I got it wrapped around this pipe. And I got this light sitting here. And now you can see my problem. Look how much this floor has fallen. Isn't that awful? All these houses I've been painting for everybody, and I got to fix this. Got to fix it because it's already on this pipe. You see there, it's on a main line pipe. It goes to the laundry back there, and I ain't worried about the spiders and stuff. I got a back end to do that with, so I'm not worried about them too much. So what we're gonna do? You see, I already had some blocks in here to set it up, so I'm gonna build a pier right here. And then work my way backwards. Once I get all this done, I'll worry about fixing the pipes. That's a piece of cake. But the pipes are so much easier to fix when they're positioned in the right place. This has to be fixed now. See how far it's split? These two pieces were together. And that's over a foot. And so the best way to do it is just to pier it. You know, and I've got my piers ready to set up. Sorry. You know, this is when we had water all under here, flood under here. And those those leaks there are nothing. They're just they're simple. They're, they're the main supply line, and all I got to do is scab them out. You know, cut out the leak, and you know, you know how that goes. That's easy. But this is something else. And I don't have twenty five hundred to five thousand dollars to fix it. If I did, I'd be buying a better car. I love my Nissan though. So, uh, let's see. Like I said, two clues. If you're going to be uncomfortable, make yourself comfortable as you can because you're going to be under here a while. In secondary, have plenty of light and make sure that the wire is off the ground. So, I thought I'd throw that in. Time for me to figure this out. Tommy Geary's a choice painter. And today I'm playing, well, I don't know what you call it, floor razor. And I've done this before, so I kind of know what I'm in for. And believe me, when I first started, it was much worse. All kinds of stuff falling in my face. At least this time. I know a little more about what I'm doing. But I am doing this by myself. So this is Tommy Easy Toys saying thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. We will catch you later folks. Friends Tommy Easy Toys. A little segment here. I've got this little bottle jack. It's 12 ton. It's working beautifully. We have a problem. We actually have two parts of the floor falling. we got the front here falling. This girder going this way. And this girder going this way. So when you have to, when you're dealing with that, you have to work simultaneously. Now you can see the floor going up, really, really easy. The whole floor is moving upward. You see that? But my problem is, I got to find something to support it down that way on this end. So I can actually use this pier for the front and the back because I'm raising this girder as well, this joist. And that joist back there. So I got a meeting of two joists that gave away. That's why it's, it's such a pain. Good news is it's off the pipe. That's great news. And uh, it'll be off the wires. See, it's off the wires too. So we're doing well. 
and this is what I got so far I, I jacked it over here and I built a pier over here and I'm just building myself up slowly and surely it's something you don't rush and you let it sit for a while look how high that jack is so I'm letting it get used to it because it took time for it to fall so it takes time for it to be raised you just don't do this all of a sudden quickly now see see all this right here that it was sitting on we can take all this out there's no use for that which will give me some room back there like if I have to put something under this end here I could do that but I don't want to do that I want to build it up right here between these two piers here so uh, that's just a quickie for you and I don't know how long this is going to take it may take days it may take hours we'll just see this is Tommy Use Your Choice homeowners hope you appreciate this video I sure do knowing how to do it thanks have a great day catch you later let me use your choice here one more little tip I just thought about while you're raising back and forth back and forth and all of that the good trick is that piston there you don't want that piston to come out too far so anytime you can do it where the piston doesn't have come out too far you're doing well see I got it sitting on a 2x4 here look how close the piston is to the the cylinder is to the wood so, uh, and it's safer that way, my friend. It's safer. See, this 2x4 here was laying here holding this, and I put a brick in here. And all we're doing is trying to get it stabilized. Once we get it stabilized and up where we want it, then it would be good. But that's another tip for you. The closer you get the piston to the wood that you're raising, the better off you are. So, the shorter the piston, the better off. Just thought <clears> I'd throw that in. Tommy, use your torch later.